there guys, Coaster Chal here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update, where today we're going to be talking about Six Flags Fiesta Texas, because as you can see behind me, the gates of fear will open in 2022. So this is all about their brand new attraction that's set to be opening for 2022, in the current site you can see behind me. It is of course uh, the old theatre space that's been taken, well I think I believe it's going to be taken down for this, uh, but it is a huge site, we showed you it in previous updates on this. I have started a playlist for this brand new attraction, which I believe will be a brand brand new coaster uh, for next year. It's all going down. Obviously it will be announced along with the rest of the Six Flags attractions uh, for next year uh, in the summertime, so stay tuned for a reaction to that video. Uh, I think my plan this year is to probably do the video analysing all the attractions, release the Six Flags announcement video, and also do a live reaction to that. So I think it will probably go up live reaction, official announcement video, my analysis of the attraction. So that's probably the order of the, the three videos that I plan for this year's announcement. Uh, but there we go guys, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell see you in this YouTube video. We are on the road uh, to 3,000 subs by the end of the year. We want to try and get to 4K at least. I want to try and up that and try and get to 4K. We're nearly, nearly there guys. We're sort of getting towards the halfway point now, or we're over the halfway point. Uh, but it really mean a lot to get to 4K and a million views by the end of the year. We are three quarters of the way towards a million views as well, so it would really mean a lot. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links and also uh, the um, the Google Forms link where you can submit your own video ideas, which we'll record over the summer. And for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on at Six Flags Fiesta Texas for 2022. So, as you can see, we got some pictures from the park, and uh, this is it. The gates of fear will open in 2022. Uh, you can see by the teasing done uh, on multiple fences, the hot air balloon... Uh, the posters that have gone up on posts, you know, it, it, from all the images you're going to see flying across your screen during this clip, it is very much, very, very much um, just steampunky, um, like a dark steampunk, I guess like a, a sort of darky steampunk or like a, a horror steampunk kind of theme. And I feel, personally, I just... I feel like this is going to be a wonderful horror themed attraction with a bit of steampunkiness into it. Now there are multiple uh, routes that could go down, coaster related and non-coaster related at this point, but I'm now going to share my thoughts on exactly what I think could be going on at Six Flags Fest Texas as we see all the teasing done where you can get your blood pumping and as the gates of fear will open in 2022. So that we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. That is talking about Six Flags Fiesta Texas. The Gates of Fear will open in 2022. As you can see, masses of teasing and uh, and sort of promoting this new uh, attraction for 2022. Now, I spoke in the previous clip about non-coaster routes and coaster routes. Now, non-coaster routes, you've got things like Dart Ride, Interactive Walkthrough Seasonal Attraction, um, a screen punk district expansion, so a few flat ride expansions and sort of a brand new sort of flat ride area. Obviously, those are my non coaster routes, but I think that's least likely to happen in this space. But now, my most likeliest scenario, and that is a brand new roller coaster. And a couple of people alerted me to this in the comments down below, and a couple of people have messaged me as well. Six Flags seems to be going all out next year in 2022. So not only do we have Aquaman Power Wave already coming in 2022, Sidewinder Safari, Discovery Kingdom, uh, Aquaman Power Wave, by the way, is over Texas, uh, Catwoman Whip at St. Louis, Sidewinder Safari, Discovery Kingdom, um, v Pair at La Ronde, uh, Python Plunge at Whitewater, we know that's been delayed, Wahoo Wave at Darien Lake, we pretty much know that's going to be delayed by now. Um, so there's a lot of things still to be delayed, but take into account Power Wave, V Pair, Sidewinder Safari. That's three coasts already. There's a 50-50 chance that Goliath will be relocated from Six Flags New England to Frontier City. There's a 50-50 chance, but the rumor's been circulating for a while. So let's take that, let's count that for now. So that's four coasters. Magic Mountains Raptor, that's five. Uh, over Georgia, uh, most likely going to be getting a coaster on that Splash Waterfall site. That's number six. Fiesta Texas is number seven. Out of the 14 theme parks, seven, half of the theme parks will be getting roller coasters or likely to get roller coasters. 
Six Flags are going all out the next year for roller coasters. They're literally going all out, and I don't blame Six Flags for doing that because they're going to go all out and try and get the crowds back. Now, in terms of what I think this coaster will be, I've got two likely predictions. Number one is a brand new coaster type entirely. Now, back in the rumor last year, we spoke about a mystery premier coaster project being one of the rumored coasters along with an RMC Raptor and a follow up to Max Force by SNS. Now, a mystery premier coaster project. They didn't say specifically a follow-up to West Coast Racers. Now, I spoke about a West Coast Racers type Mobius launch uh, racing coaster from Premier Rise to go in that spot in past video. Now, obviously that is one route you could go down, or you could go down a completely new type of coaster. A completely new type of coaster for the park and for the manufacturer. I think Premier Rides has a 50-50 chance of being the manufacturer of this coaster. The other 50% goes to S&S, because one thing I've been sort of staring in my head and thinking, sure, they won't go with this, you know, next year, be the year after somewhere else. Maybe, just maybe, they may go with the Axis Coaster, the world's first Axis Coaster. It's just a prediction, just a possibility. But I think there's a real opportunity to do that. And I think it would really match with the dark, horror, screen punk district kind of theming they're going for with this. So I don't think that's out of the realms of possibility 100%. Now, always they can go... Now, there's another thing they could do, and that is... Now, this is a bit of a, an out-there prediction, but depending how the relationship is with Gerstlauer and Six Flags... They might decide to go with the Mystery Gerstlauer project. Now, we know that Gerstlauer is launching a brand new project that's set to be announced in the next couple of months, uh, a Mystery Gerstlauer project, coaster project, in North America for next year that's set to be announced in the next couple of months. What if Fiesta Texas could be one of the parts to get it? As someone alerted in the Carowinds video where we spoke about Carowinds potentially getting a coaster. By the way, shout out to Carowinds fans online for commenting on that video. I say thank you very much for sharing this. <laughs> um, but someone else alerted to me in the Carowinds video. Why didn't the, why couldn't the Gerstlauer project go to Carowinds? I'm like, well, looking at it, I, I know Six Flags' relationship with Gerstlauer, I'm not too sure on the relationship at this stage, but... What if there's a chance it could be Fiesta Texas, or it could be Carowinds, or it could be someone else? And I think there's still questions yet to be answered. If you want my honest opinion, I don't think the Gerstlauer project will go to Fiesta Texas. I think Carowinds has a chance, but I think it's going to somewhere else as well. It could be Cedar Point, it could be someone else, it could be someone completely different in, the, in North America. My two predictions for this coaster are a premier coaster project, either a West Coast Racer style coaster or a brand new coaster type, a brand new, completely new world's first concept from Premier Rides, or an SNS Axis coaster. That's my sort of three predictions. A West Coast Racers type coaster, a brand new coaster concept by Premier Rides, or an SNS Axis coaster. That's my thinking behind this. Now, what about names? Obviously, it's a bit of a long shot right now, but there's a few you could go for. I'm not going to lie to you. There's a few you could go for um, that could fit the Scream Punk District look that you're going for, what, what Six Flags First Texas are going for. They could go with something like a Crazanity or a Max Force, but give it like, you know, the, street, the, the, the Scream Punk, Steampunk branding. Um, even though they're using a, a name that's not steampunk related, they, they could do that. They usually do that with other brands and stuff like that. So I don't think it's out the realms of possibility. So I think Max Force could be a possibility. Crazanity could definitely be a possibility and sort of do it like a dark uh, theme for that. You look at Jersey Devil though, could they do a folklore of Fiesta Texas or the Texas State, bring a bit of steampunk into it? and merged it into this new story for this a combination of fact and fiction and combine it into this brand new story for Fiesta Texas. So I think it's out, it's not out of the realms of possibility just yet, but I think it'd be very exciting to see exactly what's being done. So thank you very much guys for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coach Shell, Keatley on the Coast Live. Shout out to the person with the pictures and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys. Have an awesome day. Hashtag. SFFT 2022.